How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Manti Gaming. It is time for the fourth video in this series. I am so excited. I am sitting here resting and having some tea because I'm just so exhausted from making these videos. Just kidding. I'm actually super excited about making these videos. We're going to go ahead and jump in today with looking at uh, shop prices, doing some personal supply flipping, uh, doing some Oolog, doing some Amlod. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and jump right on into it and really get going. So the first thing I wanted to cover actually before we even start here is I know a lot of people ask me this question, how do you price uh, large items, like really expensive items without losing a ton of money on them? Uh, and very quickly, I would just like to explain that the best way to do that, um, personally, the way that I found my, my favorite method of doing that um, would be to start off by doing that price check method that I showed you in the very first video. If you remember, we went through three different price check methods. Um, there was the instant buy, instant sell, which I don't recommend doing for the high price items because you'll lose a ton of money most likely. Then there is also the looking up the item on the, on the forums and slowly moving your way up. You can totally do that one. That one's not bad at all. And the last one, which is probably going to be the best and fastest one, is if you just instantly buy the item and then you non-instant sell it for like one gold less than you just bought it for, that is kind of the best way to do it in my personal opinion, just because that will save you a lot of time from having to hunt down the price in the forums and sometimes the price won't even be posted in the forums. It'll also save you a lot of time of trying to just slowly work your way up if you're just trying to figure out how much you can just not instantly sell something. Now remember that when you use that technique, then you can just use the average margin to find the non-instant buy. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then please refer back to number one. I'm not gonna go over it again because that will be too long into this video, but I hope that answers that question as far as pricing the larger items because that is basically the best way to do it. Okay, so guys, we're going to jump on in with uh, this cool little technique that um, is basically, uh, in our last video, we talked about using high alchemy and linked prices as a way to keep our, our flips very safe. Uh, this video, I'll be showing you guys another way to keep things uh, quite safe. So as you see from our last video, I never actually removed this. And yes, I also did just make the video <laughs> just a minute ago. Um, I basically just, these videos are not that far apart, which is whatever. Um, but as you can see from the last video, if you're wondering if our Dragonfire Shield was going to resell, it definitely did. Um, and then we've got all this stuff going. So boom, let's go ahead and get all that stuff out of that uh, out of that grand exchange real quick. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is how you can use shop prices to make it so that you don't have any risk of losing money on something. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and pop right on over here to our uh, our other pages. Uh, here we go. So ranging guild. This is this is just one example. There are different there are several different examples for this, uh, but this is just the uh, ranging guild one. So uh, for the Ranging Guild one, what you can do is when you go to Ranging Guild, you can go to this store in the Ranging Guild called Dargod's Bows and Arrows. And like I said, this is just one example. There are tons of stores in RuneScape. Just go find other stores in RuneScape. If you search the RuneScape wiki, then you can find out how much any given item will sell to a store for or a specialized store. So Dargod's Bows and Arrows is a specialized store. Um, so when you're selling these, these specific range items to Dargod's store, then he is going to be paying you this right here, this buy price so if you see um right off the bat we have rune arrow dargod's dude like store person here <laughs> buys these for 153 gold each as you can see right here the ge price is 149 each um so what that means is if you go on the ge and you put in an offer which we can glad you know gladly go do that really quickly if we type in rune arrow right there see 149 each like it says Put an offer for 10,000 of them. And boom, look at that. We just instantly bought them. Um, so we instantly bought them for 149 each, which is a total of 1,490,000. Uh, we know that we can sell these to Dargod's range store for a grand total of um, 1,530,000, correct? So let's go ahead and take these rune arrows out here real quick. And then I'm actually going to literally teleport to Dargod. Oops, I'm going to teleport literally to Dargod's things. That way we can actually do it. Um, and then you can see that this does work and exactly how this goes. So... If we go right over here and we go walk in the range guild, remember that you do have, you do have to have requirements to the range guild. So if you're doing the kind of thing I was talking about earlier, where, uh, well, not earlier, but in like one of the uh, earlier videos where I was talking about um, using an alt to flip with, if you're using alt to flip with, just keep in mind, you might need to swap this stuff over to your main in order to be able to get the sale. But boom, right there, 153 a piece. That means this these these bad boys right here will sell for a total of 1530K as it says right there. We just made 40,000 gold by doing that. Um, and now I'm going to explain something else you can do 
a uh, very similar tech technique. So once again, this is not a this is not a guide. Like we, I kind of discussed this in the last video. How I was like, this is the thing you can do for like the alchemy floor, but this is not really a high alchemy guide. So this right here is not a how to buy rune arrows and sell them to the store guide. I'm gonna show you guys something else you can do. So what you could do is I realize I can't buy anymore now because we have the the buy limit. But if I was to buy those rune arrows for like 149 each, which we we also got those as an instant buy. Um, if you get something as an instant buy, then once again, that means that you should be buying them for less because you don't want to instant buy things if you're going to be flipping. That's a bad, bad thing. Um, so what you want to do is try buying them for less. So maybe I could have paid 145 a piece. If I'm paying like 145 a piece or whatever, um, and I know that I can sell them to Dargod store for 153, I essentially could try to sell them for like 160. You know, 159, 160, 169, 179. You know, I can try other prices that are far above that store price. And then once again, use Dargod's store as a as a floor. Don't use it as necessarily an outlet. Um, and what I mean by an outlet is uh, like just uh, like I'm going to buy a bunch of these rune arrows and then just sell them straight to Dargod. That's not really what you really want to do because they could sell for more in the Grand Exchange. You don't really know. Now, Rune Arrows are one of those things that probably would have a harder time selling in the Grand Exchange for more than that. Um, and mostly just because of the fact there's so many of them in the game. Uh, but there are there are definitely other items you could be trying. Like, you know, try the Scimitar stores, the Plate Leg stores, all that kind of stuff. And find items that you know you could try to sell for more in the grand exchange than you can sell for that store. But if you're able to buy them for less than the store pays, then you know you do then you know you don't have any risk involved. And that's the key there. We're trying to reduce the risk as much as possible and make it so you pretty much don't even have any risk at all in involving flipping those items. Because that's what this is about. So I really hope that little store thing right there is something that is very helpful to you. Um, I do do uh, occasionally like do that myself. Well, I will uh, you know try to figure something else, uh, something out like that myself, um, and then just make sure you know I just buy a bunch of them, and you know it doesn't really matter. There's no risk involved in buying them. Okay, next thing, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into this next one. This is going to be a fun one because I like doing this one. So, Pack Yak, for example. A Pack Yak pouch currently buys for 4071 Uh Let's just buy 100 of them uh, and then... Boom, instantly bought them. So that means that we could be selling these things for 4,071 or maybe even a little bit more if we try to stretch it out a little bit more. But we know that right now they do instantly buy it for 4,071 GP. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these things out of here. Now, I will, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and instantly sell one and let's see what we could potentially buy them for according to current price. 4,061. Okay, so we know right now that our margin on these is essentially 4,061 to 4,071, right? Because doing our basic price check, instant buy, instant sells, what we just did, we've got 4,061 to 4,071. Now, if you are interested in flipping a pouch, like you want to do summoning pouches because we're on that topic in like this video and the last video, we're on the topic of trying to find things that we don't have much risk at all. And the also, by the way, I just want to note this really quickly. One of the most common questions I get from people in the Discord is, hey, I'm going to be gone for the weekend. Uh, what do you think I can throw in uh, my Grand Exchange to buy while I'm gone? Or someone might say, I'm going to be gone for a few months because I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be focusing on my university work. I'm not really going to be playing RuneScape. Uh, what do you think I should invest into? Now, the items I'm showing you right now, like all these shop things, the ALK things I showed you in the last video, uh, the linked up stuff I showed you in the last video, all these things are really great options that you guys can put offers in for for long periods of time without having to worry about them. Because as I'm explaining with all these different things, you, you don't really have much risk involved, which makes them amazing to throw into if you're not going to be playing the game for a while. I mean, essentially, if you wanted to, if you, if, if you have like, you know, a decent amount of gold, let's let's say you got like an extra billion gold, you could like swap a billion gold to one of your alts, put in eight buy offers and then log out of the alt for a while. <laughs> you know, it's like you can do whatever you want to. Um, these are all these, these are very, very, very safe things. So let's go ahead and jump on. I'm going to show you what was going on with these pack yaks, though. So we saw that we can sell them right now for 4071. We can not instant buy them for 40 for 4061. Um, how is that relevant? And what does that matter? If we type in, if we type in, if we act hit activate quickly on our uh, attuned crystal teleport seed or however you want to get there, we're going to go to Amlod. There's two places you can go mostly, most common places to go. It's going to be Uglog. It's also going to be Amlod. 
if we look back over here on our uh, on our pins or like whatever I got going on here, and we go back to this guy, Bogrog is the person. Uh, okay, but apparently it's not a guy. Actually, I I don't really know if it's a guy or a girl, and it doesn't even really matter. He she can be whatever she wants to be today. So Bogrog right here um, is a person that will buy uh, your pouches, and how much they're actually paying is right here. So swapping pouches for shards, uh, how many spirit shards you need to buy, whatever. Um, it will give you an amount of shards uh, equal to like uh, like a predetermined amount. If you actually, if you actually, the easiest way. So the easiest way, um, skipping all of the, T, the TLDR here. If you want to find out the easiest way to do this, number one, click this because it'll show you what level you need to swap. You have to have a certain summoning level. So once again, if you're buying on an alt, swap them to your main, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you can also look at calculators. Shard swap is a great place to see a whole bunch of different things. I'm assuming I've never actually clicked this before. Let's learn. Let's learn today on video. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, bum, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Check it out. Cool. So we have a uh, shard swap value. We can click on profit here. So this is interesting. This is interesting, I guess. You can like basically figure out all the different things like what they swap for, um, for Bogrog and Amlot, I guess. But an easy, a very easy way to do this as well is just to type in the actual item itself. So Pack Yak, for example, is what we're looking at. If we type in Pack Yak itself and we come down here, it says right here, and my cat literally wants to, my cat really wants to be on the video. I'm, I'm sorry. So the Bogrog shard, shard return, it's going to give us 148 shards, a total of 3,700 gold. Now, the thing with this, though, is if you've already done the hard, I believe it's hard. Let's go look back really quick. It tells you the top of Bogrog, blah, 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 blah. Players with access to Prip Dennis may prefer to use Lord Amlod because Lord Amlod will give you 10% more shards if you are doing the hard Tran win achievements. I can also tell you that if you're uh, converting your pouches into um, uh, into uh, scrolls during the Amlod hour, then you'll also get 20% uh, more scrolls. So that's also good to know. And it will apply to what we're about to do. So since I have those hard tasks done, and I would highly recommend you do this in order to do this method, um, if you would like to come over here to Lord Amlot instead of doing the Bogrog one, which is, I mean, in all honesty, if you have Prifidinus unlocked, then just never go back to Bogrog again. There's no reason to because Prifidinus, dude, is way easier to get to. When you right-click uh, Lord Amlot, you hit-click Swap. It'll show you how much he will give you for every one of these pouches in the entire game. It also tells you how many he'll give you for all these scrolls in the entire game. Um, so you can just kind of like assess what's going on with the, you know, with all this stuff here, blah, 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 blah. But, but anyway, for what's relevant to us, we're going to look back here and we see this pack yak right there because uh, able to swap for shards, it shows you which, what's in your current inventory, right? And then you can right click that and say swap all, swap X, whatever you want to. Now, if we do some quick math here, though... Um, once again, once again, as I keep saying in all these parts, this is not a how many of these can we buy in the grand exchange and then take to Lord Amlod because we're trying to flip, right? <laughs> so I'm going to explain to you what this has to do with flipping here real quickly because it's not a shop run or anything like that. Um, 162 uh, shards, uh, spoiler alert, is 4050. So 4050 gold is how much that is equal to. That's how much the swap's for. And we know that we just paid uh, like, well, essentially we could have paid 4061. So if you're sitting there thinking, well, if I'm paying 4061, then if I come here and swap, I will lose money. That is very true. But the thing is, is this method is very, 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 very low risk because the pouches that you're going to be buying, if let's, let's say, let's go in here and I'll show you guys an example, actually. So type in yak, uh, type in pack yak pouch or click pack yak pouch, whatever. If I put an offer in here for 100, oops, 100,000 of these uh, pack yaks, I could go and do like 4061. So 4061, going by our prices we just saw, um, buying 100,000 of these pack yak pouches, we would be paying 406.1 million, right? Now we know that Amlaw Dude gives us 4050 each. So if we do that, right there, we saw the difference in those two numbers is 1.1 million. So if I was to buy, 100,000 pack yak pouches at 4061. Well, and also hint hint, you can probably just pay 4050 or 4051 and that will also probably work. Um if you were to pay the 4061 though for in this example, um then that means you have the potential to lose 1.1 million if you had to go swap them to Amlod because you thought you were going to lose money. Um something else by the way, if you look at the uh graphs for this pack yak pouch, I'm just going to go ahead and show you this. Uh, when is it been below 4050 in like 
the dawn of time like it pretty much never is below that hardly ever except for rare occasions where obviously you should be buying them during that time so when it comes to pouches they don't really ever sit at like certain ones will pretty much never go to the am the amlod um uh, pouch swap and the reason why is because whenever they do people just go swap them so when it comes to this, it ends up being a very, very, very safe floor on the price because they're really not going to go down to that price because people would just simply scoop them up and go sell them themselves. So why would they ever sit at that price, right? Now, what you can do, though, what you definitely can do, and I, let me look at my sales history and see if I've done this recently. Nope, I have not. So I, I was looking because I very recently just sold like 60,000 pack yak pouches, and I sold them for like 4150 um, so, uh, if you were to pay, let's, let's say you did exactly what I just said I did. So if I was to pay, um, let's go back to the 4061. So we'd pay 406.1 buying a hundred thousand of these bad boys. If I was to sell them at the 4150, like I just said, actually, I'm pretty sure it was 4160, whatever, but I'm not just cause I'm going to say 4150. Um, if I was to sell them at this price, look at that. We would make approximately nine million in profit. So our profit would be nine million. Our potential to lose would be one point one million. The thing is, though, is like I just explained, that's not too likely to happen. So we don't really need to worry about that because we can just look at the graph and see if they ever go down. Which means, once again, another super safe item for you to stock up a ton of and then try to sell for more. And I will, I will just go ahead and give you guys one more hint. This stuff does work, so be sure to try it. There's also a ton of different pouches in the game, so get really creative with it. Moving on to the next thing, because because otherwise we'll run out of time. I'm going to get into personal supply flipping. So if you guys watch the Flip for Wealth series, which I still recommend you guys check out, even though this series is kind of like, you know, covering a lot of the same things and doing some more updates and giving you more information. It's also still a very useful series, especially if you are trying to learn how to flip. I recommend you watch Flip for Wealth as well. Most popular thing I've ever had in this on this channel. So check it out. Now, this part right here is. Let's say you are one of those people that wants to stock up supplies for 99 crafting or stock up supplies for 99 agility or stock up supplies for 99 herblore or 120 herblore or whatever. If you're going to be stocking up a whole bunch of supplies, that's a lot of money locked up into those items, right? So let's look at these uncut, uh, yeah, let's look at these uncut dragon stones. These are just a couple of my personal supply stacks right here that uh, I'm probably going to be using in the near, in the near future. Uh, so it's a great example because I'm literally going to do this myself. Um, uncut dragon stones, currently going for 10882 Let's say I bought all these for 10882 right? So if I bought all these things for this price and I paid a total of 1229000 or sorry, $1,229,000,000, um, and this is what I paid basically on these, uh, what I could do, what I could do, and this is this is one of those things where, um, in a, a very a, like a, a videos a long time ago that you guys probably haven't seen. Maybe you have if you're a champion. Um, where I explain things like don't lock up all your money into supplies, don't lock up your, all your money into armor and weapons because you can use that money to flip with. Well, this really applies to that, and this can really help you to kind of like alleviate that situation and turn potentially that into a profit. So what you can do, what you can do is. You have these laying in your bank, right? You got these uncut dragon stones laying in your bank. Let's say you got these silver hawks laying in your bank. Here, I'll show you a real situation. So here's like some other random stuff that I've been moving over back to my my main account. Um, so this is stuff that I just thrown in here. Let's say you have this 142,000 dragon stones. If you're not using these things yet, and you uh, you know you maybe you're not maybe 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 you banked a skill, right? Let's go ahead and withdraw these because this is a real life situation. Withdraw these things that I have banked right there. Go in the Grand Exchange. How much did I pay for them? I paid 87.78, right? What I could do right now is go 9499. And now watch this number right here change. So 1,253,000,000 changes into 1,356,000,000. So that's like 100 million profit if these were to sell for 94.99, right? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and confirm offer whatever. So what you could do is you could just leave your offer in there and then see if they sell. Um, and also if you look at like stuff for double XP and everything, which I'm not really going to get into because that's more investing. Um, if you just want to like throw in your stuff for like offers that, you know, could sell, you know, 11, 999, you know, this 1229 uh, could turn into 1355. Sure. Why not? Um, these silver hawk feathers right here, this is 17 point, this is 1.724 billion. Uh, I bought them for, let's say 2142. Let's, let's do 23,000. 
Look at that. I would make, you know, a considerable amount of money. You can totally do that. You can totally just throw in your stacks of items and kind of what these what this would be is like a personal supply flip or like an accidental supply flip. It's like um, when things rise up or stuff slowly sells, it's like, sure, why not? Because when this sells, you can just go back down here and buy them back and pay less than you're selling them for in most situations. You kind of want to make sure though that before you throw the throw these items in like I just did, you kind of want to like price check though and see where things are at um, because who knows? Maybe these Uckkind Dragon Stones are currently selling for 14000 a piece and I just threw them in there for an instant sell and <laughs> potentially lost money that I could have earned. Um, so make sure you make sure you do, you do the price check before you do it. And it's also nice that whenever you have a large stack of supplies in a bank and just periodically check to see how much that stack of supplies is worth. Every once in a while you get, you know, you get pretty, uh, pretty shocked. Like let's look at this uh, wool here, for example, uh, fall face wool. Uh, this is a great example. We'll buy this for 10,000 a piece. See that, see the GE offer is 40. Well, what's, let's see it. Let's say I paid 40. Hey, look at that. 4,345 is how much that fall face wool just bought for. Even though that the GE says 40 and maybe I paid 40 a while back and now I have 50,000 of them. If I have 50,000 of them, I could probably now sell them for 4345. And I don't know if they'll all sell for that, but I can just go like this 4344 and then toss them in there. And if you know, if you have a ton of them, like let's say you have 50,000 of these things, that's 217 million you could just made like right there. Literally a real life example, fall phase wool, that could have been. And if I, I'm like, okay, let's see how much I could buy them back for, ah, 42, sure. So when I sell them off for a crazy high amount, I can just rebuy them back. Now, just make sure though that you do test your item though before you do this kind of thing. You can't always buy this thing back. Like fall face wool, spoiler alert, I already knew this was gonna work. Um, but but the thing is, is like, you know, sometimes Silverhawk Feathers, if they rise up, they're just gonna keep on rising or stuff like that. So just make sure that when you do sell off your supplies for like a good profit, that you don't really, you know, that, that you're okay with doing that because you might not be able to buy them back for a cheaper price. But you know, when you make a couple hundred million off of selling off your supplies, it's pretty nice. Might, it might even pay for the actual skill itself. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to check out uh, the Discord down below. Also, check out the Patreon page if you'd like to. On the Patreon, we give you exact buys, exact sells, um, huge lists of money-making methods, investing methods, all that kind of stuff. If you guys want to become a billionaire, it's kind of the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, other than, I don't know, I don't know, swiping your credit card in the RuneScape itself, which I don't recommend doing, but whatever. If you guys learn how to flip, check it out. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. See you again.